I was just like, bro, I know this nigga did not give me an STD because not only was my which we call them not feeling too good but i was also getting like bumps and stuff and literally cut the bump in half and squeezed the pus like on some dr pimple popper type shit it squirted and it's like do i have herpes like what like oh my god to the tv where we talk about everything and when i mean everything i mean like of course another story time as you can see by the title but before we get into it go ahead and hit that subscribe button now and don't forget to follow me on all of my social medias because sometimes youtube is fucking up and don't be giving me your post notifications <laughs> Real quick y'all, whenever I had my baby this last go round, cause y'all know I had a lot of kids. Yeah, I noticed my lips were like dry. No matter what type of lip gloss or chapstick I put on my lips, they always end up being dry and white. So I was wondering what product is gonna not turn my lips white, not gonna dry out quick. And you know what I discovered y'all? Be Glossy Cosmetics. This is not no regular ass lip gloss. I know a lot of people got lip gloss and stuff going on. I don't want y'all to get it twisted and think this is just another lip gloss promo. No, y'all, let me tell y'all. So I got this product at night, put it on my lips. I was tired as hell so i ended up going to sleep and i woke up i noticed a bitch still had lip gloss on her lips not only was it still on but bitch my lips was still pop how you like that you need to go ahead and shop with be glossy cosmetics today not tomorrow because by tomorrow your lips gonna be dry and crusty your lips are important don't nobody want no crusty ass lips go ahead and go to beglossycosmetics.com her products contain sweet almond oil with vitamin a for healthy skin cells it helps chapped and irritated skin and lips and also prevents white skin film it also contains shea butter for moisturizing your lips castor oil for smoothness softness and hydration which treats irritated skin as well as moisturizing the lips all of her products are vegan and also paraben and cruelty free don't forget to shop with be glossy cosmetics because your lips need to be glossy and not be white okay all right y'all so as y'all can see by the title this is gonna be about my worst experience um post getting a tattoo so i'm gonna dodge right into it y'all this occurred whenever i was 18 so this would have been in 2013 um like towards the end of 2013 um i had just had moved out of my mom's house and i was just i was on my own for the very first time i had two roommates that was a crazy situation i feel like i want to do a story time on that because that was an interesting living situation and at this time i was in a dark place y'all like i was going through a lot i was like you know what a bitch ain't even trying to be in this house right now like let me just let me just go and do something i didn't really know what i wanted to do so i was thinking and i was thinking and then something just popped up in my mind i was like bitch go ahead and get tatted like you ain't been tatted in a while so go ahead and get you some tattoos you deserve it like go get you some tattoos now y'all i wasn't working at the time so i really didn't have that much money and by the way if y'all hear like some noise in the background my dog is right here and she's snoring and really about to piss me off but she sleep and she's snoring so that's that noise if y'all hear some noise okay i wasn't working at the time and so i didn't have no money but i wanted the tattoo so i remembered a guy who did my second tattoo actually yeah he did my butterfly that's on my stomach and some other stuff i was like i know he'll do some tattoos like he always want to do some free stuff promo whatever so i hit him up and he was like yeah you know i don't mind doing a tattoo for you just come through so um, I never been to his house before, so I really wasn't sure where he lived until he shot me the address. I didn't have a car at that time either. Like a bitch was a bum, like a bum, I don't, like a bum. Okay, I was always getting rides to places, and so I had this friend who always like drove me in different places and stuff like that. So I said, "Hey, you know, are you doing anything tonight?" He's like, "No." Nah. Like, well, I need a ride, so he picked me up and dropped me off. Now, as we were pulling up in the neighborhood, it was it was dark, it was late. So I was probably around like 10 o'clock, it was really late. I couldn't really see the surroundings because like, I mean, it was dark. I could tell the neighborhood wasn't too shabby whenever it's daytime, but you know, I was already there. So I wasn't going to my ride to bring me back home. So I was just like, you know what, fuck it, let me just proceed. <laughs> and so I proceeded and we pulled up, the maps was like, you know, your destination is on your right. And so I looked. And it was a trailer. Mm -hmm. Um, it was a trailer. 
now i was like oh okay like they be having nice ass trailers so so my ride thank you walked up and he left and i knocked on the door we're gonna give this guy a name let's give him call him cj cj opens the door i'm like hey what's up you know how you open a door and you like on the side of the door so whoever's in front of the door can see like straight in the house so yeah that's how he was opening the door the first thing that i noticed was that he had no floor like <laughs> Like he had no floor at all. Now it kind of looked like he was remodeling or something. Like I knew he wasn't remodeling though, but I'm just trying to explain to y'all how it looked. So like it kind of looked just like, I don't know, they were just fixing up on some shit, but it was real, real fucking raggedy. And so when that was kind of like a disappointment to me cause I'm like, ew, like ugh. whenever it comes to people houses, like if I haven't been to your house before and your house is like dirty or just looks doesn't really look welcoming <laughs> i guess you can say um then i kind of be uncomfortable in a way like i probably won't really want to sit on your couch like i'll be afraid something's gonna pop out the couch like i don't know that's just how i am like i said my ride already left so i couldn't turn back i couldn't tell him you know come back and pick me up you know i was already there so i walked in you know and he told me to have a seat and he didn't even have a couch come to think about it um he just had like a bench and then like a table which he was sitting on to do the tattoo but i went to the bathroom before he started and the bathroom was gross disgusting it had like stains in the toilet and stuff um toilet didn't really flush that well just gross um my ass didn't touch the toilet seat i know that for sure because like i just wasn't touching that i leave the bathroom and i go sit down where he's sitting up like he's taking all his equipment and stuff like that out so uh, i'm looking at him doing it and i see he has a fresh pack of needles so i know it's good i know it's sterilized he proceeds to do my tattoo and he first started to fill in the old tattoo that he did um he did a butterfly on me like a long long time ago when i was 15 and so um he filled that in and then he started doing this one so i didn't have this in the beginning this is um this came afterwards so just imagine this whole arm just naked he did this he was just, like freestyling like it wasn't no design or anything that i found he just freestyled i think he drew this himself and it's a shitty ass drawing as you can see but the idea was for me to eventually continue to come back to him and get my whole arm covered he does the tattoo everything was cool it was fine um it was free y'all by the way so you get what you get i left and the next day or two probably like two days went by i noticed i wasn't really feeling too well down there hmm this doesn't really feel right like this isn't normal like I, i'm really really in tune with my body so i'm like okay bitch like hold on do you have an std like what the fuck is going <laughs> oh even though i wasn't sleeping around or anything i was talking to someone exclusively i know he wasn't exclusively talking to me i was just like bro i know this nigga did not give me an std because not only was my which we call them not feeling too good but i was also getting like bumps and stuff like a bump on my stomach i got a bump right above my pubic bone also got a bump like underneath my arm and on my thigh and they were like painful ass bumps it was like no usual bumps and i was like bro what the fuck is this like do i have herpes like what like oh my god i was panicking i was panicking so i called my friend i called my male friend and i was like hey you know such and such is going on i need your opinion and and he's like a he was like a cool cool person like he wasn't no friendly ass shit you know no extra stuff going on between us i wanted an opinion and i was telling him my symptoms and stuff and he was like yeah you might need to go get checked out so i didn't have a car y'all y'all know that so and he came and picked me up even though the hospital was around the corner i didn't live in a good neighborhood either so i wasn't about to fucking walk um i go into triage and was telling them everything that was going on and everything like that because like down there really did not feel well like it felt like y'all know them little prickly things that be in the grass them like them little ball prickly things like it felt like i had a bunch of those down there and that ain't nothing happened before i'm like what's going on they took my urine they took some blood um, they also checked out the lesions um she asked me a couple of questions i also explained to her that i had just recently got the tattoo everything came back normal i didn't have any STDs, thank god but i did have a bladder infection which was the reason for the discomfort down in the air um now as far as the bumps goes that had nothing to do with down there the doctor came and also told me that i had what was called staph infection now that was the very first time that i've ever ever had a staph infection first time last time hopefully that never happens again they explained to me that you know whenever you get a tattoo and if things aren't clean then you know you can it can cause infection and so i was like well you know he had fresh 
packs of needles and stuff so i don't really understand what was unclean about it but anything and it could be cross contamination like i don't know it could just be anything and so they have to take the stuff out the bumps basically like disinfect it i don't know so they first numbed each and every bump because the bumps were big enough like they were big so they they numbed it with like the little needles which hurt like fuck once they numbed it she took a scalpel and literally cut the bump in half and squeezed the pus like on some dr pimple popper type shit it squirted and i don't remember how it looked uh honestly i don't remember how it looked but it squirted and then started bleeding and then once it started bleeding that was like an indication that all of the stuff whatever was out i guess the infection was out of it um and then the doctor took some gauze and literally pushed the gauze inside of the bump like i basically had a hole <laughs> each every bump was like a hole like they dug inside of it literally uh, but they put the gauze in there and it was like keep it in there uh, i guess i don't know i don't know why um but she's able to keep it in there for at least 24 hours um and it also gave me some antibiotics for the staph and the bladder infection and um i went on home y'all <laughs> i went home and i text cj and i was like hey you know i came from the hospital because i started breaking out and um the doctor was like it could have been from the tattoo like do you know what it could have been like you know i know you had fresh needles so i, I wasn't really sure you know what this man told me this man told me that it didn't have nothing to do with him he didn't elaborate really on it but he was just like no nah, i don't think that was from me but me knowing me like bitch i'm not stupid like i've never had a staph infection before and like why all of a sudden i go to your house your house with no flow and i catch a staph infection like let's be real so i already knew what it was um and i already had it in my mind that i wasn't gonna be fucking with him after that and that was that <laughs> i can't believe that i put myself in a situation to catch a fucking infection because y'all i really thought i had an std like i really did and that's not a good thing that's not a good thing <laughs> that's why my ass should have been not fucking period unless i was in a relationship with someone because like even though like i said i wasn't fucking around i was still fucking with someone and that someone wasn't only just fucking with me so um yeah that's another story time you know if y'all want any stories on that get this video to at least 100 likes so that um i'll do some more story time we can do either the story about my very first tattoo or we can do a story about my roommate situation if y'all want any other videos regarding any of those topics go ahead and hit the thumbs up let me know that you enjoyed this video so that i can know that i need to keep making them just don't be getting no tattoos in no backyard and no play pens trailer parks playgrounds like don't do it because niggas is dirty and they ain't gonna tell you and even though it appears clean nine times out of ten it's not really clean as it needs to be or as it would have been if you would have just brought your broke ass to the tattoo shop like i should have did with my broke ass okay if you enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed recording it go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below because you don't want to miss any of the other videos that i have in store for you guys and i hope to see y'all in my next video